I said, if you go back in my beer cooler, I'm going to whip your butt. New tonight, chaos at a Cleveland convenience store, and it's all caught on camera. The three gunmen ambush the place, but end up just stealing the ATM. News Channel 5's Homa Bash talked to the owner of that store. And Homa, she thinks those guys were there just hours before scoping the place out. Yeah, she told me she saw three boys trying to buy beer in her store earlier, definitely underage. So she kicked them out. Then she thinks they came back for a whole lot more. I call them punks. Joycelyn Henry's run this convenience store on the corner of East 129th and Forest for 20 years. Her sewing shop is right next door. Around 10 o'clock Tuesday night, the 65-year-old was training a new employee and closing up when three masked and heavily armed guys stormed in and stole only one thing, the ATM. Go down on the floor before I blow your what in that head half. Surveillance video shows them rocking it back and forth until the bolts loosen and snap. Then they take it to a Jeep waiting outside. The machine doesn't fit in the back seat, so they try the trunk. Doesn't really fit there either, but they cram it in anyways, driving off with the back hatch still open and flapping, ATM hanging halfway out. It all happens in less than five minutes, Joycelyn laying on top of her worker the entire time. These guys, it's getting worse and worse and worse. We've told you about ATM smash and grabs all over Cleveland the last few months. A typically stolen car slams through a store wall and thieves take off with the money machine. But back here, Joycelyn is no stranger to this kind of mind-numbing violence. I can write a book of what happened to me right in this corner right here. Thick bulletproof glass is meant to protect, but it can only do so much. She says she's been robbed at least four other times. And in 2002, her husband of 30 years was beaten to death with a shotgun at this very same store. I suffer, and I don't decide to take any more. Enough is enough. Joycelyn told me she wasn't sure exactly how much money was inside that ATM, but that it wasn't much. Luckily, no one was hurt. Anyone with any information on that Jeep or those men are asked to call police. Live in Cleveland, Homa Bash, News Channel 5.